The fight between combustion engines and electric cars just got a lot more intense. Jeep has introduced a groundbreaking technology that's causing a stir in the industry. Can Jeep's new compressed air engine beat the hype around electric vehicles? Let's take a closer look and see if Jeep's latest idea is the big change we've been hoping for in cars. So, you know how everyone's been buzzing about the electric vehicle revolution? Well, Jeep just dropped a bombshell that's shaking up the whole scene. They're not jumping on the electric bandwagon, nope, they've taken a different route altogether. They have a groundbreaking compressed air engine that's about to give EV makers a serious run for their money. Yeah, you heard that right. Jeep's pulling out all the stops with this game changer. This engine isn't just futuristic, it's practically from another dimension. It's got the entire auto industry shaking in its boots. With this marvel under the hood, combustion cars are getting a new lease on life, emissions be darned. We're talking about fuel efficiency that'll make your jaw drop 120 miles per gallon, and as if that wasn't impressive enough, it's slashing emissions by a whopping 99%. So you're not sold on the whole electric vehicle craze. Huh, sometimes it feels like they're shoving EVs down our throats, right? But this compressed air engine alternative has been getting some buzz lately as the perfect option for folks who aren't quite ready to jump on the EV bandwagon. Major car companies have always been a bit hesitant about diving into the world of alternative fuels. Well, guess what? Big changes are on the horizon. Get ready to rev your engines because Stellantis and Jeep are about to unveil something truly groundbreaking. But wait, what exactly does that mean? This car would have a 2-liter engine that blends petrol with compressed air to give you a ride like no other. Talk about a breath of fresh air in the automotive industry, right? Now let's break it down a bit. This engine has a setup that includes a compressed air tank, a low-pressure tank, and a hydraulic system all working together to deliver top-notch performance on the road. So it's time to say goodbye to those sky-high fuel bills and hello to unparalleled fuel efficiency. It all began in 2014, when the first compressed air engines were introduced by Stellantis in collaboration with Peugeot, notably in the Peugeot 308. The efficiency of this system has been significantly enhanced by reducing internal friction and incorporating lockup clutch converters to prevent any slippage. The improvements in CO2 emissions across various models have been remarkable. However, the true marvel lies in Peugeot's exclusive integration of selective catalytic reduction and a particulate filter with additives. This innovative combination has resulted in a reduction of emissions by up to 90% and the elimination of 99.9% .9 of particulates. You know those hybrid cars like the Toyota Prius? Well, imagine this twist, what if we ditched those heavy batteries and went with something as light as air? Yup, you heard me right, so instead of hauling around those bulky batteries, this system uses a smart setup with a hydraulic pump motor. It grabs power from the engine and even when you hit the brakes, saving it all up as compressed air. Talk about a stroke of engineering brilliance, right? Jeep's claiming this hybrid air system can slash fuel consumption by a whopping 50%. Imagine the bucks you'll save at the pump, and hold on to your hats, because there's more. Vehicles packing this tech can see their range shoot up by a massive 90% compared to regular engines with the same power. It's like getting double the adventure without stopping for gas twice. Hybrid air-powered vehicles in urban settings can run entirely on air power 60 to 80% of the time. PSA is presently testing this prototype and has stated that a combined fuel efficiency of 120 miles per gallon is the goal. The hybrid air system significantly reduces costs by eliminating the need for expensive battery packs typically found in traditional hybrid vehicles. Not only is it more affordable, but it is also simpler to install and maintain. Additionally, it offers flexibility in passenger compartment design without compromising trunk space. You might be wondering why Jeep is against EVs. The EV revolution, once celebrated as the savior of our planet, is now facing intense scrutiny, and Tavares, the CEO of Stellantis representing a conglomerate of 12 automotive giants including household names like Jeep, Ram, Chrysler, and Dodge Khan, has become a leading voice challenging its very foundation. He has shown his disapproval of the EV narrative, questioning its fundamental premises. At the Freedom of Mobility Forum hosted by Stellantis, Carlos Tavares painted a picture of the EV landscape. As everyone's buzzing about swapping out those 1.3 billion gas guzzlers for cleaner electric rides, Tavares threw a bucket of reality on the parade. Before we dive headfirst into this electric landscape, let's talk about lithium, you know, the magic ingredient in EV batteries. Turns out it might not be as abundant as we thought. And even if we do find enough, 
good luck hurtling over all the bureaucratic red tape and geopolitical tension just to get our hands on it. But wait, there's more. Tavares doesn't stop at lithium. Oh no, he takes it up a notch. Let's say we were to abandon our combustion cars and move to EVs, but what about the fact that we'd be depleting rare earth metals to make these batteries which in itself causes a boatload of emissions? So this whole idea of banning internal combustion engine cars in favor of electric vehicles priced over $50,000 is really raising eyebrows. Take the Ford F-150 Lightning for example. This electric truck is making waves, but not just for its eco-friendliness. It's also hitting wallets hard, with prices soaring past $100,000. And that's not the only shocker. EVs in general already cost a pretty penny, like a whopping 40% more than regular cars. According to Tavares, he proposed a substitute that might lead to an extremely quick 50% decrease in carbon dioxide on average. It's best to replace cars that are 15 years old or older with modern models, such as their brand new compression air engine. Major automakers such as General Motors, Ford, Hyundai, and Rivian are already facing challenges related to the escalating expenses of battery components. Complicating matters further are the new EV tax credit incentives, which provide reductions on automobiles manufactured in the United States. And let's not even get started on their sales slump and the hit to their reputation. Remember back in 2015 when you could snag a Jeep Wrangler for a decent $35,000 to $38,000? Well, fast forward to 2023 and it's a whopping $52,000. But get this, it's not just inflation or supply chain headaches driving up those prices. Nope, Stellantis, the parent company, is playing a high-stakes game here. They're trying to turn Jeep into a luxury brand. Now, while that might sound fancy, it's leaving a sour taste for many Jeep fans. Plus, add in some quality control blunders and you've got a recipe for disaster. And hey, it's not just Jeep feeling the pinch. Stellantis, Ford, GM, they're all grappling with the EV transition. It's like they're bleeding money on electric cars, hoping their gas guzzlers will foot the bill. Take VW, for instance. They're slashing prices left and right on their ID3 just to stay afloat in the cutthroat Chinese market. Oh, and let's talk about those fancy EV features. Automated parking? Subscription-based heated seats? Come on, BMW. Really? It's like they're trying to nickel and dime us for every little thing. I wouldn't be surprised if one day they start charging us a monthly fee just to turn the ignition. Jeep's groundbreaking compressed air engine presents a formidable challenge to the electric vehicle industry, boasting impressive fuel efficiency and significant reductions in emissions. As market dynamics evolve, there's a visible trend driving automakers towards substantial investments in electric vehicles, thereby affecting iconic brands such as Jeep. What are your thoughts on Jeep's compressed air engine technology compared to EVs? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So see you guys in the next one. Signing off.